All right, so we're done shopping. We're sitting here in the clubhouse at uh, Perch Point Conservation Club in Michigan. And let's see what we found. So it's a nice old clubhouse. Got lots of mounts and stuff. Yeah. Sitting with my friend, just uh, old friend Destry sitting here with us. So we'll go over and see if we found anything good. What you got, Destry? Oh, well, just nickel and dime stuff today. Nothing huge, but you know, money makers. Um, whole set of the Richard Walters gun dog books. Ten bucks for the set. I get ten to get ten a piece. No big money. Real nice old Bob Allen gun club pistol case for a buck. Probably worth ten fifteen. Some decoy weights for myself for a buck a piece. Cheap enough. This was a nice little score, believe it or not. Some of these old uh, some of these old time camo patterns from like the eighties nineties bring pretty good money these days. This is tree bark camo, nice Jones cap, and it's a big one, it's an extra large, which is what you want. The smalls and the mediums don't break shit. But an extra large, you probably get 25 out of that, I paid two bucks. Oh, uh, what else, let's see. A real nice- What old, is that? It's a Brownells shotgun pull and drop gauge for testing the length of pull and the drop of heel on a shotgun. $10, made in the USA. I've never seen one this old. I gave, I gave 10, I'm thinking probably 35, decent money. Uh, a couple of real nice old uh, hunting and fishing uh, magazines from the 20, from one from the 40s, one from the 30s. I gave, I gave five for the pair, probably get 15 a piece. Uh, nice, just a nice old plain old blind box from the 80s, real clean. Five bucks, again, probably get 15. I looked at that little compass you got there. Yeah, these used to bring pretty good money. Um, these uh, these old air guide compasses, they're, you, you, they're, really, they're, they're really a What, what did he have on that, anyhow? It's 750 on it, I offered him five, he took it. Uh, used to, you'd get 35 bucks out of one of these. I, I, I seen that in the tote there. Yeah, I don't know anymore. Uh, I haven't had one in a long time. This one's got a little crazing on the, on the, uh, on the globe, but for five bucks, I, I thought there's got to be something left because I've sold them. So I've sold so many of them for decent money over the years. This was the only really score, a score, I guess, of the day. It's a brand new split willow creel, clearly older. Still got the tag on it. Uh, got the sheep, got the sheepskin shoulder harness and all that for 30 bucks guy 35 he took 30. Um, i'm thinking i'll probably get 75 or 100 out of it just because it's so clean guy one and one to because there's still a few guys that use these the old school guys you know probably get 75 or 100 out of it and then again just nickel and dime stuff these old camel patterns you guys love this stuff you know the old, the old brown frog skin camo a nice shoulder bag and then a fanny pack, both two bucks a piece. Right. Probably get 12, 15 a piece. What's pretty. in the box here that you set everything on top of? Oh, and then I got a few calls. You know, I mean, I was by calls. Um, I got all of the, I got all three of these calls for 10 bucks. It's a Loman, real early Loman squirrel call, probably from the 60s. A them, real nice uh, maple, uh, big river goose flute. Yeah, them got to make be money makers there. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's a twenty dollar call. Uh, this predator called ten bucks, and the squirrel called probably ten or fifteen. Yeah. And I got ten for yeah, ten for all of it. And then my big score for the day for myself, you know, you and me, I collect the old gun club uh, badges and patches and stuff. Right. And I picked up the perch point from Perch Point. A nice old Perch Point button from here at the club we're at today. Yeah. That was it. No big and scores, but it's all. Yeah, but we had a good time too. We had a great time. Glad to be out. Beautiful Saturday. Snow's over. Yep, and the snow, and we made it here fine. So I got a couple patches. Uh, this one here is Ukraine. Everybody knows the Ukraine war is happening. They were a buck a piece. I'm not sure what the other one is. This is a uh, M1 carbine sling. Not sure. Maybe it's German or something. I don't know. It's got a button here, but he said it was uh, M1 carbine for five dollars. It didn't hardly matter. I got two magazines uh, for the uh, 742 or 760 Remington. One's for a 308. That one there's uh, 308. Got the block in the back of them, or 20 bucks a piece. Got, got a uh, potato masher grenade. I don't do not know if it's original or not, and uh, but it was five bucks as well. Got a couple uh, round grenades for five bucks a piece. Them are just easy money makers, and I just sitting here bought a 22. This is uh, J.C. Higgins uh, 22. 
Everybody's probably seen them. Everybody likes that wood that comes over the top of the receiver here. But this one's got the... Yeah, this, it gives them this, kind of a European look. Yeah, it's got the sling in it that, that pulls out and connects up to the front. So 